Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to be unboxing a diamond painting from diamondpaintingshop.com? Dot com. Pretty sure it's dot com. Let me check. Yes, it's diamondpaintingshop.com. I will have a link in the description box so you can go check them out. Uh, full disclosure, they did send this to me. Uh, so thank you very much, Diamond Painting Shop, for sending this to me. They are in Florida, in the United States. So for all of my international friends, yes, you can purchase from Diamond Painting Shop. But just a word of caution, if you live in a European country, you may be paying extra VAT. I did have to pay VAT on this. Um, they do not currently have an agreement with um, the EU, as far as I know, for paying VAT in advance. So you may have to pay that. But look, it came wrapped in a box. Check that out. In a box, like so. And... I see some stuff here. <gasps> There's a letter. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, that was really sweet. Thank you, Rosa, for the really nice card. I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. Ooh. All right, let's get rid of the box, shall we? Uh, eh. Woo, jeepers. Wow, okay, so there's a thank you here. We've got some candies and some washi tapes and a thank you. And that is so amazing. There's even a discount in there. That is really sweet. So this is the box. This is really nice. It's a really big box and it's super sturdy, like it's not going anywhere. And it's wrapped in cling film as well. And on the back here, it's got what's included in the kit, what it is, why why it's such a fun hobby, how you diamond paint. This is so cool. And they have a money back guarantee and 100% guarantee customer uh, happiness, which is lovely. So let's get into it and have a look. Now these diamond paintings, I'm super excited that there's another company out there that does hand charting. This is hand charted diamond paintings and that is rare <laughs> it actually is pretty rare so I am happy to see that there is a company out there that likes diamond painting uh, licensed artwork that likes hand charting because I prefer that now I really do if you ask me you know what kind of diamond paintings I'm drawn to I am more drawn to the hand charted ones so let's see what let's see what happens in this <gasps> Here it is. Here's the one we got. Can I show you properly? So this is called Candy Cane Angel by Hannah Lynn. Yes, it's a Hannah Lynn. And you know what? It's a round drill Hannah Lynn. <laughs> so I know that a lot of you will be excited to see a round drill Hannah Lynn and possibly to try out another company. Let's get into it. As you can see, it's poured glue. Let's get into the little... Oh dear, it got stuck. <laughs> there we go. I was trying not to rip the plastic, but you know how it is. Inside here, ooh. <gasps> I see that double-sided adhesive. Yes, sticker sheet. Uh-oh, it got a little banged up, but that's okay. That's all right, I can I can flatten this out, it's okay. But look at that, they actually have the, the inventory sheet, like the legend here. Wow, there's 50 colors. Can you see this? Show you slowly so you can see. We've got a mixture of numbers and letters, some symbols. Very nice. These darker colors, they have the black text. I wonder if that might be, it might be easier to go with a lighter um, text so it stands out, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like on the canvas itself. So as you can see, it's diamondpaintingshop.com. I have to stop myself because my brain wants to say diamond painting shoppy. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Um, so it's copyrighted artwork, Candy Cane Angel. 
And look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty, isn't it? With a little angel with her little wings. I love that top. I kind of want it, not going to lie. So we've got a toolkit. Here we've got, let's see, tweezers. I can't use tweezers with round drill, but hey, for those of you who like using tweezers with round drills, there you go. Uh, these are sharp, but not too sharp. They're not going to... Um, they're not going to hurt you. What else do we have in here? We have that squishy for the pen, a pen grip. We have the diamond painting pen itself with a three placer. It's a nice glitter pen as well. I'll put that pen grip on like so. And then I see that it actually comes with other multi placers too. So we've got a four placer, and I think this is a 10. Yes, it says 10 on, on the side. And we have a big plate of pink wax with a Masva boat. Uh, these are great because you can funnel those drills back into the bags if you use the bags or into your container system. Do you use bags or do you use a container system? Let me know in a comment down below. I'm going to struggle getting this back in the bag, but that's a great toolkit. We've got all of this, and then we also were given two washi tapes as well. So um, you are good to go with that toolkit. Here are our drills. We're going to look at those closer here in just a few minutes, but I can see that they have lots of facets and they look really, really nice. So let's put this to the side for now. Let's look at the canvas. Let us have a look. It is rolled up quite a bit. Let me see if I can get it to lie flat. Ooh, the canvas is soft. This is a um, soft lint canvas. So it's kind of got this cotton backing on it. Just trying to get it to lie flat. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. Oh, she looks great. Wow. The background looks sensational. I really like it. I like the way that it is. Let me just fix that light real quick because it's going to bug you. You and me both. So the background, as you can see, it's got lots of dimension in it. Um, the border itself is really solid, but then on the inside, just like the picture itself, it's kind of um, aged. You see that? Now, one thing I am going to just say right off the bat, I know this is hand charted, so they did the very best they could with the size of this painting. I feel like it needed to be a little bit bigger. I know. I know. We can't all have huge diamond paintings, Rachel. We can't do it. Not everybody can do one. Not even you. <laughs> but as you can see here, the, you know, her eyes, her mascara and everything that it's just a little too small for me, but I think that it's actually going to look fantastic. As if we look at this symbol, this is 310. Her eyes are in 310. They are going to stand out like just so well. You're just going to focus right in on her face, which is probably the right thing. You don't want to get distracted and just stay up here in a corner or something like that. You want to be able to see her face. So there's probably a reason that they did it that way. But my... I have to give feedback and my feedback is bigger is always better. <laughs> if there's a way to make it bigger, to make her face a little less pixelated, that is the way that uh, you can go. But I digress. I digress. This is a 57 by 72 centimeter painting. So it's already pretty big in most people's standards. Now I'm looking, I'm looking because this is a brand new shop to me. So I'm just looking at everything and we can see here, there's the logo at the top. We have the legends on both sides and they both include a little mock-up of the picture itself. 
here at the bottom, it's got the details about the painting. So if you're gifting this to someone, they can, they can see what picture that comes from. And we have their social media here as well. As far as the symbols go, let me take you down to the canvas so we can have a close look. I thought that maybe we should start here because for me, this is the most obvious thing. There are no guide circles on the white drills. There are slight guide circles on darker drills, but they are kind of like a little halo behind the symbol and they're close to the original color. They're not a separate color. And I like that a lot. I really like that. I do know that some people though may struggle. And if you are the kind of person that struggles without the guide circles, my best advice to you is to take it in small sections and do a checkerboard method. That usually fixes any kind of inconsistency or Another option is to use a dummy painting ruler. You can actually get them on Amazon. Um, you can get them pretty much everywhere. If you just Google diamond painting ruler, uh, you can get a, a diamond painting ruler that'll help you line that up. And then you can use a multi-placer or you can single place and um, it'll be easy to fill that in without going astray or adding too many drills or getting them um, kind of out of place, if that makes sense. Just going up slightly, you can see a few more colors here. I am not seeing any problems with symbols. I am looking all over the canvas and I do not struggle with any of these symbols. I don't think that any of them look similar to me. Certainly when you look in groups of colors, I don't see any two that are so alike. Even U and V are very clearly different. If you are colorblind, you may have a small trouble with that. Uh, please let me know if, if for some reason these some of these symbols do not work. Or uh, even better yet, maybe contact the company yourself and let them know because it's always good. I know that they're always looking to, you know, improve and make your experience better. And just because I have no trouble reading it doesn't mean that everyone does. So please uh, let them know. I'm sure they don't do it on purpose. I see here that there's a nine and a six. Just make sure that when you're working on the canvas that you have your, um, your drills, you know, if you're working on this upside down, that might, that might throw you, um, but just, you know, be aware of that. And we're back again to similar colors. So let's go ahead and have a look at the diamonds. All right. So if you don't want to see the diamonds, you can skip ahead, uh, to the next part, but I'm just going to go through a couple of bags and, and show you the colors. I can see their specialty drills here too. So this is wonderful. They're actually in number order. So you can see here at the very end, we have bag number one, and then, you know, you go through and there's bag 32 and 43. I mean, there's a lot of diamonds here. There's a lot of diamonds here. Now do not be af alarmed at the dimples in the back. It means nothing. That will not affect the diamond painting. They will sit flush on the diamond painting. There are no knobbly bits that I can see in these diamonds. They look to be consistent in shape. And I wish my autofocus would work again. <laughs> um, they do look very, very nice and uniform as I'm looking at them. And you can see here too, there's always going to be a few. There's always going to be just a few that aren't perfect. And you know what? That's okay because there's, 
millions of little beads, you know, thousands of beads right here for sure. And some of them will not be okay, but the majority of them will be fine. And I'm sure that if you did run out of diamonds that you could contact them, let them know, and they would send you replacements. Now I'm looking here at the last few colors. I'm not going to go through all the colors because they are, they are all here. <laughs> They're beautiful pastels. We've got greens. We've got skin tones, we've got jewel tones, these very light pale colors, and then you've got reds and pinks as well. I think that's gorgeous, it's gonna look fantastic. Let's have a look here at the last few. So we've got crystals, okay? That is really cool. This is a clear crystal or a diamond crystal. This one is the up symbol. It's like an up arrow. Um, and I'm trying to have a look on the canvas as I'm talking to you. Um, I don't... Oh, there it is. They're in the candy canes. So let me go ahead and move that. So the white of the candy canes is actually crystal drills in her belt here. And it actually does echo through the rest of the piece in all of those white spaces. That is going to be where the, the clear crystal drills go. The next crystal is this beautiful green crystal right here. This kind of jade green, very beautiful. And on the canvas, this is the letter A. That might take me a moment, so I'll be right back. Perfect. I found it. It is actually this green border that goes around the entire painting. So I'm going to move the kit so you can see it. This inner two lines that goes around the whole kit is a beautiful crystal green. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see. 47 is this pretty blue and this is the letter K on the kit and again I will be right back I'm gonna find it K is here around the inside parts some of the inside parts here just this little inner bit there are a few of the K's here, especially around these snowy parts in the background, just in here. I don't remember what that's called, this kind of oval. You can see it just there. That's beautiful. It's going to look great. And this is what I mean by when you're enhancing paintings, that you're just enhancing little tiny elements and not going overboard. Uh, 48. This says on the chart that it's supposed to be an AB. I'm going to go ahead and email them. It's not AB. They'll probably send me the AB version. It should be 742 AB and the letter is C. And what's great is that when this is fixed, it's actually that golden color all in her dress. It's on the outside here of the frame. Everywhere that you see that beautiful golden color, that's actually an AB. So that will look amazing. It would still look good as a solid, but since it says AB on the chart, I know that it's supposed to be AB. It's on the legend. Next one is 49. Wow, look at this. There's two big bags of black AB. Now, where does this go? This is the letter B. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'm on the fence about this though because I've worked with Black AB before and I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not black. It's greenish, bluish, you know, it's not black. But in this case, it's actually the outline of nearly everything. It's the outline of her hair. It's the outline of her sleeve here. It's the outline of her elbow. It's the outline of her wings. The whole silhouette, the whole uh, headband here, it's 
going to be gorgeous, but it's all around the outside edges. I need to know how this turns out. I need to know how the AB looks because that's a lot of black AB and it could look amazing or it could look strange. Um, but I really hope, I really hope, and I'm only, I'm saying this with pure sincerity and, and curiosity. If anybody has completed this painting so far, please tag me in it on Instagram, uh, tag my Facebook page, Rachel Ray FB. Please show me, uh, email me, whatever you need to do. I want to see what that looks like because I have done them and I love the idea of black ABs. I need to know what it looks like. The last AB that we have is 5200. This is number 50, and the symbol is that little dot that you might have seen. Um, it's within her hair. It's just these little lines. If you can see that, see the little lines here inside in the middle, just like that? Those are the ABs. They're nestled in with the other white drills, and those will look fantastic. It's not overkill. It's not her entire hair that's AB. I find that that would be way too distracting. Um, it's not all of the snow that's AB. It's just a little bit on the inside. Um, there's a little bit in her halo as well. But that's going to look really nice. I like that. I'm just, like I said, on the fence about the black ABs everywhere outlining everything. Oh, and there are AB, white ABs here as snowflakes as well. So I need to know what y'all think. What do you think about this painting? I think it's really pretty. Um, and for those of you out there that love round drill diamond paintings, I think this is perfect for you, if I say so myself. My first impression of this diamond painting shop is actually, it's really good. So you've got extra tools and candies. Um, you've got a, a nice toolkit. This is a really nice toolkit. Um, I think that's plenty of wax for this project. Um, this is this is more than you know more than you might need really. You've got your bags. All your drills are in baggies, so they're labeled, and they have the. If we look here, like for instance, this one says 742. That's the DMC number. It tells you how many grams. If I go to a regular another regular bag, you can see here this is 3770 and there's 19.2 grams. Sorry about my nails. Um, it's all there. Uh, they have the numbers that match the side legend. So you don't have to kit this up. You could just work from baggies if that's how you like to work your diamond paintings. But if that's not what you want to do, it would be easy to store those excess drills after you're finished the diamond painting. Not only that, but you get a sticker sheet for your legend so you can label your organization system really easily. I love that. That's a big bonus. Not to mention the fact that it's licensed artwork and it's on a really nice canvas material and it's poured glue. I'm really, really happy about that. A bonus for those of you in the States is that it is stateside. And I'm pretty sure they offer, you know, they, they have offers all the time. So please go check them out. There are lots of other artists they have that you may know from other companies that you may have even diamond painting in the past. And I actually have another one to show you very soon. I'm going to save that one though for next week. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much again, Diamond Painting Shop, for s supplying me with this diamond painting to share with my followers. I appreciate it. Um, I hope that what I said wasn't too harsh, but I do feel some kind of way about black babies. And I really want to see what it looks like because I'm super curious. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much if you are subscribing for the first time. I hope that you enjoy my content. Thank you for your likes. And I will see you all really soon in my next video. Take care, everyone.